Yes, yeah, Dr. Sanjay here. Uh, it has been mentioned in the subsection Aristotle's defense that he counter argued with his guru Plato on the views on poets and poetry. Uh, it would be interesting if you could explain the, his counter arguments at length. Right. Uh, I think Aristotle was a very able disciple okay. uh, of Plato and he therefore thought of not agreeing with his guru mm -hmm. on certain points. Okay. Primarily uh, his problem was or he thought that he would give another interpretation of mimesis. Okay. That is that poetry is not really copying okay. but it is making. Okay. So that is where the word poet comes from the Greek root poiein. Okay. Now that's the verb to make. Okay, fine. Now then we have mimesis is not equal to copying mm -hmm. but mimesis is equal to making. making. Yeah, fine. And interestingly when we make something mimesis, making leads to the Greek term mathesis. Okay. That is understanding or knowing as we have in schools these days that we learn by doing, okay. by making blocks or certain games. Mm -hmm. Now this way of making leads to our understanding, leads okay. to our knowing the world and that knowledge has to be passed on to others. Okay. So in that way primarily. Mm -hmm. Poetry for Aristotle mm -hmm. represents a reality in a very useful way. Okay. So if Plato accuses poets that they represent wrongly and this wrong representation is a negative influence, mm -hmm. then the counter can also be true that mm -hmm. poetry represents people in good action. Yes. They represent people worthy of emulation. Mm -hmm. That is the other side which Plato forgets. Yeah. And so Aristotle puts in this other argument mm -hmm. that it is worthy, uh, worthy actions are also represented mm -hmm. in poetry that can be emulated. And also that uh, besides poetry also dealing with good men, mm -hmm. gods in doing good, mm -hmm. it is a kind of a universal. Mm -hmm. For example, the difference between, say, poetry and history. Mm -hmm. That is, history records mm -hmm. what has been, has been or what is or at is, the most. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas poetry says what should be, what yeah. might, be, might be, what ought to be. Ought to be. And in that sense, it leaps beyond the mm -hmm. spatio-temporal barrier. Mm -hmm. One final point that we will later on we can touch upon is that poetry for Aristotle and uh, we all know that Aristotle came from a doctor's family mm -hmm. that is his father was a doctor. Yeah. Aristotle thought that tragedy poetry leads to catharsis. Yes. Now catharsis is interesting here because it does not mean exclusion of our negative emotions mm -hmm. but in within when we include them in an inclusive manner and yet we control and check them mm -hmm. so we okay. check our negative emotions and overcome them by purifying okay fine so the final point aspect of mm -hmm. the countering by aristotle to plato mm -hmm. is his uh, significant term of catharsis catharsis yeah Thank you, sir. Thank